What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going to go back to Sol 535. It is the Curiosity Rover. Let me show you what we're looking at here. Here it is right here. You can see Sol 535, Mars Hand Lens Imager, or the Molly Cam. We've got the motor right here. The Molly Cam, you can see it right here on the right-hand side. And it has, let me just zoom into it a little bit, right there, you can see the hinged areas right there to the left of the cursor, right here and has the door. Now, when you go into this right here, and we're gonna get a lot closer and see the animation, you can see that the door is open up here, and here's the bottom here, and you can see the LED lights is for them with the camera itself. And you can see the lens cap. They say it's clear. I find it hard to believe, but let's say it is. This actually looks like it has a reddish tinge to it, and let's suppose we're wrong about that too. It doesn't matter. And you can see it opening and closing right there. But even if we're wrong about both of them, doesn't matter because I can instantly change even on my camera, I can change it to a Zephyr tone. And you can see it right here on the right hand side with the roses. I can change any color if I want to maybe saturate a little bit more, less saturation, and then make a low res photo, cover up everything I need to do and put the Zephyr tone over it. So it doesn't matter either way you look at it, they're doing this. And the reason why I'm making this uh, point is because it's definitely relevant. You're going to see what I mean when we uh, take the nasty color off this, right? Let's get into this because now check this out. We want to see how Photoshop sees this photo in reality, meaning it basically deciphers what the true colors are of the photo. Okay, so let's do this. Whoa. So, actually, blue sky, you know, it's right there. More natural looking stones, so on and so forth. Okay, so, first of all, I wanted to say this because you guys are going to see this as well. I mean, it's like, boom, right off the bat, right? What's all this stuff in the air? Let's go back to the normal photo right here. Uh, is it being invaded by insects? Is it dust on the cover? Very good possibility. Some of these things look like they actually have a motion blur right there. This stuff may be absolutely on the lens itself, although it makes you wonder, how does it clean the lens? I think they have like two little air lines or four air lines. Just, they just burst of air and they just blow this right off. Now, they don't claim that they do. Um, so how does this thing take the next photo and none of these are in it? So... If it's not on the lens, then these things are in the air. And there's multiple things um, right there. Now, is it possible it's a windy day and it's dust? Absolutely. Absolutely possible. All right, so let's get into this a little bit more. Here's your true colors. Image. Auto tone. There you go. I'm not doing anything. I'm not modifying the photo. This is the way Photoshop sees it, right? There it is. Did all of the automatics right there. You can see auto tone, auto contrast, auto color. They are. So let's get into this. This is what I noticed right off the bat, guys. This is cool. Now, people will say these are nothing more than rocks. Then please explain to me how this rock does this. Comes down, nice 90 degree corner. Goes like this. Something going up like this. You can see the way this thing's shaped. It's going up over like this. And you kind of really can't see the back, but you can kind of see it doing this. My other thing is right here. You can see something sticking right out of the back of this. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. Okay. Maybe nothing. Maybe just part of the rock, right? But please explain how you have this again right here. Going like this. My question is, how is it possible that the base of this thing is exactly flush and has this weird base to it? Is it possible, uh, yeah, it's just a natural rock doing that? I don't think so. Just in my opinion, I don't believe that's the case. Check that out, guys. What? Yeah. Now, there's one thing I've seen that is literally sticking out of this photo, and I'm going to show you this right here in the normal photo. I'm going to show you this in a minute once we bring down this brightness. Right there. It's actually a silver piece, and you guys are going to see that much better in a moment. All right. So here's that right there. Here's another part. Before we get into this deeper, as far as darkness-wise, check this out. This right here. What kind of rock does this? It's in what looks like rocks, but you can see this thing actually literally looks like it goes like this. Comes up, goes like this. Like it's a top of something. Goes down, and of course it's in the dirt. You can see the edge of it here, and it goes back. Okay, that's a rock. Sure. Uh, let's bring it down. There it is. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, let me just show you guys the fully enhanced, because you're going to see from this, I'm just going to back up a little bit, 
Here's the original. Okay. Now, here's a fully, not only the color wiped off this, meaning the crap color, but watch how many details are suddenly in this area down in the bottom. And all of a sudden, you're going to see a lot more darker features, right? A lot more, right? Okay. Let's start from the very bottom here, because this is just wild. Look at the, the pieces laying right here. Okay. <laughs> what I find interesting is a lot of these smaller pots. Check this out. Intricate little pieces, and look at the shape of them. Overlapping. See that? Overlapping pieces. Pieces that are like little spots or little holes going like this here. The funny thing about this, guys, is we don't have any idea just how big this stuff is. Now, how do we know? Let me just back up a little bit, show you guys the overall. We know that the rover is capable of both HD photos as well as HD video. Now, it's also capable of really good zoom. Let's suppose this is like a 16th of a mile off. How do we know what we're seeing on here? Isn't a bunch of structures, maybe some cars or some kind of something or intelligently made objects laying in this rubble could very well be. And I don't think this is the very top of this. They may be in the back of this. We're just way down looking from here, looking upward. And all we're seeing is the very top here, thinking that this is the absolute peak of this thing right here. When if we were up a little higher, we could get up a lot higher. We'd see this may actually go higher, this mountain. Who knows, right? We don't know. Okay. Here's that rock I was telling you guys about. And this is interesting because I, I just started to burn through it just a little bit. Watch this. This rock right here, right, supposedly. First of all, look at the edge. You can see it. This, supposedly this is the shape of a nice sharp edge right there. And it comes down. Let me do this step by step. You'll see this. There it is. You can see the edges of it. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is that? Look at this. Something doing this. Okay, let's keep going. All of a sudden, look at this piece on the right-hand side of this supposed rock. Boom. Something right there is like a hole or something like that. But anyway, look, at it goes behind this rock? I don't think so. There's something else right there that's kind of square. And you can see it's got a different color right here. This is the actual color of this item right here. Look at the way the rest of it has been blocked or covered. But that's it. Check out this stuff back here. Wait a minute, the line goes in behind the rock? How is this possible? Because they're using a rock mimicking software. Check that out. Something round has that oval look to it. Check that out. Now see that right there? Notice how this rock suddenly becomes transparent. You can see this piece right here. And yet you can see this thing goes behind it. Yeah. Okay. That's how you know they're blocking this stuff, guys. They can easily overlay anything they want over here. Here's some more interesting stuff I think you guys will like. Let's go all the way to the end here. What is going on in this area? Look at the shapes, almost symmetrical here in this pot alone. What? Look at this. I think some of this, what you see here on this side, is buried. On this side. So you might be seeing that. See the way that's just under this? Under this lip right here? We're not seeing that because this is it's buried underneath there. Look at the shapes in here. Folks, we're looking at things that are in, intelligently made. And that's what we're exploring here on Mars. Not just rocks and all kinds of the garbage like they claim. Look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five holes. Look like small tubular type things right here. You guys see that? And it's literally coming off like this. Let me just take all these lines off. Check that out. Take note of this right here. Actually, it does this. I just noticed this. This pot comes down. This looks like it comes out like this. Goes like this. Stops right here. It goes up, over. Oh, didn't do curve it quite right. And like that. What? Folks, look at this. Come on. This There's just way too much 
intelligently made shapes in one area. Like some people say, well, you don't understand. Mother Nature can do that. I get the idea of it doing certain things. Mother Nature, it can be very crafty. Crazy stuff comes out of it. But look at this. Are we really going to say that this is all right here? That that's natural? Notice how a lot of these lines are gone. But check them out. They are, in fact, there. Bring the lines out and you find these crazy things in here. Okay. You can find this stuff in there. It's in there. Once you bring out the actual areas that are supposed to be black, all this stuff pops. See that? Look at this. I don't believe this for a minute. This is a slab. You can see the way it's not even straight. It's like, what is it, a rubber, you know, block? Come on. Um, this is the pot I was telling you about that sticks out really well. Let me just do it this way. Right here. And you notice it's got this crap all over it. Now, is it possible this stuff is encrusted? Sure. Absolutely. Um, I think a lot of it is manipulation because of this, what I showed you here on this rock right here. I think it absolutely is. Again, look at this. And guys, I just noticed this. I don't even have to really enhance this thing. Just by the photo being brighter, look at this. I can see that right through it. Literally can see right through it. Check it out. So yes, they are in fact covering this stuff up. Look at these little intricate things. These are cool. All these pieces right here. See these items right here? Watch this. Now, let me just back up just a little bit. Look at these intricate little pieces, how they look like they're intertwined right here, especially this piece. Look at this. Do some people actually believe this is all rock? I don't believe it for a moment. I think a lot of this has been blown to bits. It's down the side of a mountain, and that's what we're seeing. There's way too many things in here to just be natural. Okay? This right here. Look at these little parts. But take note of these other objects, like this here. Other pieces, like this. All kinds of pieces in here, guys, that just scream intelligently made. Now, is it possible there's stone here? Absolutely. No doubt about it. What's in the stone and what's mixed with it is intelligently made objects. There's no doubt about it in my mind. And like I said, down here, even these little intricate pieces down here, look at all these squares and little pieces down here. Check this out. Let's see if we can find these in the, in the original. Well, you sure are. They're right there. When I see things like this, I do not see natural. The way that thing's cut out. I don't know if that's raised up or whatever it is, but there it is. Check that out. It, it's it, There's no way Mother Nature's going to make something like that. Sorry. I don't believe that for a minute. And when you start pulling these things apart and seeing these things, oh my God. It, it is pretty cool, guys. Check this out. Look at the pieces in here. Looks like there's line design to this thing. Some kind of stripe design or the details in this thing. What do you guys make of that? I don't even know what to make of it, but clearly they're trying to hide the stuff in the photo, right? This stuff right here. And a lot of times these white things right here, that's the actual, uh, the real stuff that's really there. Like this is really sharpened up and you can see the little white pieces. Uh, but you can bring out the shape of them that they tried to cover. Look at this piece right here. Again, no way this is natural. Something sticking right out of this thing. Almost does the same thing with this 
See that, guys? Almost does the same thing. That shadow almost does the same thing as the outline of that piece. Right there. Way too many things in here, guys. Just not going to happen. You're just not going to see uh, stuff like that in nature. I don't believe a lot of these things are even rocks to begin with. I think, you know, a lot of it is actually being made to look like rocks. Mimicking software, rock mimicking software, that is. Look at this piece right here. You see what it looks like? It's going up like this, going back, going back. Piece like this here. I'm not sure what to make of that. Couldn't tell you what this stuff is, guys. But it's there. It just makes you wonder, wow, this is just cool, cool stuff. Now, again, I don't believe for a minute that's that's natural. I just don't. I'm not saying that with absolutes. I'm just saying that I don't believe that it is based on what we're seeing in this photo and what's being hidden. Check this piece out right here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Now, guys, what does that in nature? Same exact numbers of pieces. There's like eight to seven to eight pieces identical on each side of it. No, nature's not going to do that. It's as simple as that. Guys, there's so much in here to see, man. Just have a look at this photo. Even here, you can still see things in the photo. Like I said, this alone. I mean, what kind of rock does that? Again, does this here. Yeah. Like I said, I, I see like what looks almost structural or... or intelligently made machines or something again guys we don't even know how far this thing is away we have no clue these could be structures like thrown around and, and strewn around we don't know or it's just much smaller items that have been displaced is it possible if the martians that lived there were half the size of us are much smaller as some people claim is it possible that's what these are structures and this is photo is a lot closer than we think it is who knows? It still gives you like an insight what's really on this planet and what they're hiding and the real reason why they're there. Now, they are there to find more water because they want more fuel. Think about it. We get the fuel, we can go back and forth. So once we get there, go through all the stuff with our hands and then head back with said samples, whatever else, right? There you go. All right, guys, give me your comments down below and your thoughts. What are we seeing here? Are we seeing what looks like uh, structures? Or just mechanical things encrusted in this uh, uh, landslide of rocks and rubble and intelligently made objects? What are we seeing here? Because we don't know the scaling, it's hard to tell. This could be just a mechanical pot a couple feet across to a structure that's good size. And if it is true that, you know, a lot of people believe that the Martians were very small, then it could be structures. We just don't know. The good thing about it is we have an insight to what's really in these photos, or at least the tip of the iceberg, what's in these photos, and we can get a grasp on, okay, there's clearly these mechanical things there, and it's cool to look at these because we don't know what we're going to find. It's like a Cracker Jack box, guys. We just don't know what's in there. So when we open these things up, enhance these things to get the lines out of them, suddenly, boom, everything starts to come out. Anyway, guys, let me know what you see. Do you guys concur on what I've seen in this photo and what I described? If not, what else did you guys find? And guys, like I said, please like and share the video. It is appreciated. You guys know that. And I appreciate everybody uh, jumping on the merch, picking up some of that stuff. And hey, guys, if you can, just drop a photo of you guys uh, wearing that merch. You can drop your uh, photos over at Mars Anomalies at AOL.com. Love to see you guys sporting the stuff. Maybe we'll actually throw you guys up there on the screen and let others see you guys wearing the merch and uh, representing there, right? As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you guys in the next one.